Understanding Email Notifications Let's go through what email notifications look like in Freshdesk. You can find email notifications in the Workflows section on your admin page. They are helpful for generic scenarios like sending a notification when a new ticket is created or when a ticket is closed. Now, let's take a quick look at email notifications. Navigate to Admin, then under Workflows, click on Email Notifications. You'll see four tabs, Agent Notifications, which deal with the notifications your agents receive, Requester Notifications, which show notifications that can be sent to your customers, CC Notifications, which let agents know when they have been CC'd on emails, and Templates, which allow you to add pre-filled information in email notifications. Now, let's edit one of these email notifications. Click on the Edit button next to the New Ticket Created notification. You'll now see a section where you can modify the subject and the description for the email notifications. You can personalize the email using placeholders related to the ticket, ticket fields, or contacts by clicking Insert Placeholder. If you have configured multiple languages within Freshdesk, you'll be able to add notification content for each language at the top. You can find the option to add additional languages in your Help Desk settings. Once you're done, click Save at the bottom of the page. Finally, ensure that email notifications are turned on using the toggle next to each notification. This is how you can use email notifications for common scenarios. For configuring customized email notifications based on ticket attributes such as ticket type, group, source, requester name, and more, use the Automations feature. This is especially useful to route tickets to the right agent or group if your organization is spread across time zones, skills, and languages. Let's take a look at how automations work. First, navigate to the Admin tab, and under Workflows, click on Automations, now click Tickets. You'll now see three ways of setting up automations. Ticket Creation, which allows you to create automations for when a ticket is created. Time Triggers, which run on tickets every hour depending on time and event-based triggers. And Ticket Updates, which allow you to run automations whenever a ticket is updated. Now, let's go through an example. Say we want to create a custom email notification responding to customers who have raised tickets during non-business hours. Click on the New Rule button under Ticket Creation. Give the rule a name, say, Notify Customers During Non-Business Hours. Under On Tickets with These Properties, choose In Tickets in the first dropdown, then Created in the second dropdown. Then select During and then non-business hours. You can also choose which region's business hours you'd like this automation to run on. Scroll down to the section Perform These Actions. Choose Send Email to Requester. Now, type in the subject and description for your email notification. Finally, preview and save the rule to work on upcoming tickets. You've now successfully created a custom email notification. And that's a quick rundown of when to use email notifications and when to use automations. If you need more information, reach out to us at support at freshdesk.com.